Hey guys and welcome back to another What If This Team Gets Certain Players Experiment video and today as you can tell by the title, thumbnail and the screen right in front of you right now, it's Atletico Madrid. A big team, a very very big team in world and Spanish football, but unfortunately Barcelona and Real Madrid have had just that little bit too much for them in recent history and throughout history I would guess. But if we bring back some of their former stars, we could potentially compete for the La Liga title. Now as per usual, we're not going to just look at the La Liga, we're going to look at the Cup, we're going to look at the Champions League because we're in that as well. And as always, leave me suggestions of teams I should do in the comment section down below. I read through your comments and Atletico was one that popped up quite a few uh, times. So hopefully this is a team you want to see. And if not, let me know what team I should do next. As well as that, whilst you're down there, leave a like on the video. Let's try and get 200 likes in 24 hours. We made it to about 173 likes on the Champions League experiment. Maybe those guys out there that usually don't like videos now is the time to do so because they're doing well, these experiment videos on the channel, and I want to keep it going as much as possible. Lately, we've been doing well in the experiments as well, so hopefully my predictions can be on point again. With no further ado, let's look at the team we have at Atletico Madrid. And there you have it, Atletico Madrid strengthened to the max, upgraded with some of their former stars, including Diego Costa, Arda Turan, Miranda, and on the bench we've got Aguero who's currently injured as well as Toby Alderweireld and a few reserves like Falcao who are looking decent. Also David De Gea in goal, I forgot to mention him, but like the core of this team is insanely strong. The lowest rated player in the starting 11 is 83 rated and on the bench everyone is 80 rated or higher as well as a reserve except for uh, Vrijalsko. I got rid of the low rated players we don't need. This is the team that has to get the job done. As always, we're sitting at the halfway point of the season to figure out where we are currently and if we're on schedule to make the objectives we've set out for us. And honestly, my prediction right now is definitely top three. I don't think you should be surprised, but I feel like we'll do maybe that little bit better than third and beat either Barca or Real to second spot. I'm thinking we're going to finish second in La Liga. Let me know where you think we'll finish by voting in the top right hand corner of your screen in terms of Champions League. I'm gonna guess we make it to the semi, no, quarterfinals. Quarterfinals seems decent. And here we are, we've made it to the 1st of January, the starting point of the transfer window. We were obviously not interested in that because they're not gonna make any signings. However, currently, in terms of progress, we are still in the cup, which is good news. Gonna face off against Deportivo La Coruña in the round of 16. In the Champions League, we're still, okay, we're still in that as well. Arsenal is up next. Which is achievable. I feel like we can take Arsenal, especially with the team we've got right now. And in terms of league standings, I told you I felt like we could finish second. And right now we're spot on. Barcelona are down in seventh. I don't know what's going on there. FIFA must have made some sort of mistake. Almost, I feel like. How are Barcelona that far down? I'm not sure. We're four points behind Real Madrid. Maybe we could still do the impossible and beat them. But I'll settle for second. And now I'm going to tip forward to the day after the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 fixtures against Arsenal. I just want to see what we do there and if we can progress. Hopefully we can. And this is usually the point in the experiment videos where I give you bad news and it turns out we're knocked out of every cup competition. In terms of the Copa de España semi-finals, we are through. We beat Villarreal twice, which is convincing, to say the least. We drew to Arsenal right there. And we won 2-0 in the second leg. That is fan That's phenomenal. Real Madrid up next. Oh, God. That's not going to be nice, is it? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's a Copa España final. What am I thinking? The draw hasn't been done yet for the next... I, I thought for a second that was already a Champions League final. My mistake, but let's move on. Ah, uh, there we go. Borussia Dortmund up next. Beatable, I'd say. And because I said just a minute ago that this is the part where I usually reveal the bad news and it didn't happen, now I'm feeling optimistic, so probably that means we're knocked out. Oh no! Oh boys! Two wins against Atletico Madrid, uh, not Atletico Madrid, we are Atletico Madrid, against Borussia Dortmund. We could actually be on for the treble. Actually, I take that back, we're not on for the treble, we are far behind Real Madrid, and in terms of Champions League and Cup success, that same goddamn team looks to be in the way in the semi-finals and the final of the Copa de España. Let's just sim forward and see what happens. Alright, that's quite enough. Champions League semi-finals. Can we get revenge on Madrid? A 2-1 win there. And a 2-1 loss there. What the... Wait. Oh, we've made it! We've actually qualified and Barcelona are now in the way. 
It's all about the Spanish teams in this simulation today. But now, Real Madrid have the chance to bring some revenge back to us. It's really been a derby heated season so far. The cup final result was a 2-1 loss. Okay, that annoys me. That annoys me. There's only one thing that can save our season now, and that is that Champions League final. Actually, let's take a look at the league standings. Did I get spot on with the, uh, with the prediction? Oh, we won 4-3 on penalties against Real Madrid. That was scaringly close. And yes, I am spot on with the prediction. Barcelona made a huge charge up the table, but they came one point short of second. And once again, that is a successful prediction for me, and I'm loving it. Just that Champions League to top it off. That Champions League experiment from a few days ago has broken some kind of curse, and we could actually complete something that we have not done before in a what-if experiment, and that is win this thing. I actually wanted to stop just before that final to sim it through, uh, well, the normal simulation and not the calendar. Unfortunately, it didn't stop in time. And we won the final. Atletico Madrid have won the Champions League, knocking out Barcelona and Real Madrid on the way. It's safe to say that this team has had an impact with the new players coming back. I mean, just looking at that, Korke now 87 rated as well. That is just insane. Let's do a squad report and take a look at the stats of some of these players. David De Gea now in 91. Uh, Juan from dropping, Miranda dropping, that's fair enough. Uh, Carrasco 21 goals and 7 assists in 51 games. Korke having a good impact as well. Turan actually kind of underwhelming looking at those stats. Gaetan was good. Costa was poor, very poor. Griezmann was okay. Nothing special. Jimenez played a bit. Saul was decent for a midfielder. That's not bad at all. All the world was good. I'd say, no, actually 6.6 .6 is not the best. Gamero was better than Costa with his nine goals. And Aguero was actually our second best striker with Griezmann, which is logical. There are two highest rated players. That is not bad at all. The likes of Aguero and Costa and uh, Koke and whoever. Like, I don't know what made this team suddenly win the Champions League, but it definitely has something to do with some of these players. The likes of De Gea and Aguero having an insane impact. For what, for what it concerns me, I think... This has been a success. Prediction spot on, Champions League victory, that's all I can ask for. I wish we had the title of the cup, but you can't have everything in FIFA. I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.